So in this assignment, first um, question, part A, the, you were having to use the information that you were given in the question. You were being told that u was a unit vector and you had to find the value of k. So first of all, you should really be working out the size of the vector that, or the, an expression for the size of the vector. So in order to work out the magnitude, you would be expected to square each of these components and add them together. So, and of course, squaring 3k all squared gives you 9k squared plus k squared plus 0. So all together, that amounts to square root of 10k squared. You can split that up into root 10 times the square root of k squared and the square root of k squared is of course k. So we know that the magnitude of u is equal to root 10 k. What else do we know about the magnitude of u? Well we know it has to be equal to 1. So these two things must be the same. So putting that information together means that root 10 times k must be equal to 1. Therefore, the value of k would be 1 over root 10. And that would be all you would expect to, to do with that question. OK, so let's find the value of k. That's the value of k. k equals 1 over root 10. For question b, in this one, you were looking at vectors A and B. You are being told that they are perpendicular. And then you're asked to work out you've got a couple of missing coefficients there. And there's even a starting point for you. So in an exam, obviously, that little hint bit would not be there. So your starting point for this question um, is... That actually I would want to see, so it's good practice, even though it's kind of written out here for you already, but as to complete your work in, you should say since A and B are perpendicular, that automatically means that A dot B will in fact be equal to zero. That allows us to write down that our components t3 4 dotted with minus 1 t3 and that is equal to 0. You're then going to go through and write out your scalar product so t times negative 1 plus 3 times t plus 4 times 3 and that is all equal to 0 so negative t plus 3t plus 12 is equal to 0. Add in the t together, you get 2t plus 12 equals 0. And of course, rearranging that, you get 2t equals negative 12. So t would be therefore equal to negative 6. So in that question, although you were given a hint about how to start it, this is something that you do need to know how to start questions and you won't, you won't be given hints um, in the exam. So hopefully you've got full marks there. Um, if not, have a look through and see what and give yourself some feedback and where you can improve.